I thought I would do a little personal update with you guys. Hi. Um, personal life updates. Let's see. You may have noticed I changed the name of my YouTube channel to my name. It used to be called Simple Joys. Uh, for two years it was called that. I actually wanted to get rid of the name Simple Joys since April of 2021, but I haven't. I haven't, I didn't do it for so long because of fear. I was so afraid that people wouldn't like it that I changed my name, that, that the people wouldn't be happy that they wouldn't see the name Simple Joys associated with my videos all the time. And honestly, I just, I felt afraid and I felt like I wasn't able to step fully into my own name on this channel. And I just had this reawakening, awakening in December of this year, of last year, in January of this year, that I'm just ready to explore more parts of myself. I'm ready to make more videos about things that I really care about. And I love the simple joys. It's a huge part of my life and what I believe. And, you know, I'm so inspired by the simple joys of life, the, the beauty in the mundane, the, the beauty in the ordinary. That's such a huge you know, part of why I started this channel and why I write about it is because I believe that as a collective, we're starved for appreciation. You know, we don't get enough gratitude for the small things in our lives. But at the same time, the concept of the simple joys can be rather limiting. And I want to explore deeper topics. I want to share all parts of myself. Like I want to talk about presence and meditation and slow living and and you know, all the things I care about. And I've always made videos about slow living and presence on this channel, but I just found the name to be rather limiting. And I don't want people to associate me as the simple joys girl, or, you know, I make videos about simple things because life isn't simple. Um, I recently made a few videos on this channel about sadness and surrender and letting go and lost dreams. Like these, these ideas, these concepts, these topics that I've been really exploring in my own life. Lately, my energy has been more introspective, more going deeper, going beyond the physical veil. That's a limitation I put on myself with this channel as I make videos on slow living, make videos on the simple joys, and that's it. I'm done with that. I'm breaking away from that, that limiting belief that I have within my own mind. I feel so passionate about so much things that are that go way deeper than just the simple joys. There are so many amazing things about life that are not simple. Um, emotions are not simple. Humans are not simple. They are complicated and I want to go deeper and I want to just talk about all the things that I love and I'm passionate about. And so that is why I changed my name from Simple Joys to my name, Helena Woods. and. I've been sad lately, and I've been sad because I've been putting a limitation on myself. I've been feeling stuck with how I express myself creatively, and that's kind of why I started a second YouTube channel um, at the end of the year of 2021 was because I really felt like quitting. Like honestly, I felt like quitting YouTube, like this channel specifically, I felt like just closing it down, saying goodbye, like not even saying goodbye, just like maybe just like taking some videos down and, and closing it off. And I just feel like the vision I had for this channel isn't where it is now. Like for some reason, just to be honest, for some reason, my most popular videos are always the France videos. And I love living in France, but that's not where my heart is. I don't want to be known creatively as someone who speaks on life in France. I want to be known creatively as an artist, as someone who talks about presence and life and death and finding beauty in the ordinary and how to remain present and how to remain childlike. Like those deeper themes are things that I'm more passionate about. And I was really unmotivated because I noticed that every time I was posting videos about France, you know, they got picked up and then more people who expected France videos would subscribe. And I just want to make it very clear that I am not here on YouTube to make France documentaries. I am not here on YouTube to talk only on France. I am here on YouTube to talk about slow living and presence. That was the whole purpose of why I ever got on YouTube and created the Simple Joys channel was to talk about slow living and the simple joys about what I have been learning about slow living. And 
and some of that has been inspired by the French, absolutely. But I am not a France YouTuber, and I was really frustrated recently because, like, part of me wants to make videos for you guys because you wouldn't be here, you know, if I wasn't being helpful or, or sharing some sort of inspiration and I want to make videos that you guys are happy with. But at the same time, I also need to create work that satisfies me and that fulfills my heart and my creative spirit. And I've been feeling so stuck and so frustrated lately because I've been so focused on wanting to make content for you. And I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna forget about my desires I'm not gonna be a sellout. If I was a sellout, I would be making France videos going forward, like all France videos. That would be me selling out, but I'm not doing that. I'm making videos on what I'm called to make and I'm passionate about and what's in my heart. And those topics are slow living and presence and meditation and going beyond the mind and thinking, remembering about the big picture of life and what really matters. In the grand scheme of our lives, what really matters? It's the big picture, it's zooming out and seeing our lives and the importance of how to live our lives fully so that we can enjoy our time while we're here on earth. That's what I'm passionate about. I'm not passionate about French lifestyle tips. Like, obviously, I make those videos because they are honest. I go to Paris, I get inspired. I'm people watching in France, I'm watching the people and I get inspired to, to express what I'm learning about life in France, but that's not all of me. There's so much more and I want to share all of that with you. And I want to express myself freely without feeling constricted and constrained and feeling like I need to only make these videos because that's what wor that's what's working. And and then there's just the whole finances of it, which, you know, I won't I won't go into the finances of being a YouTuber, but you know, being a YouTuber is hard. Financially, this has been hard. I have some regrets. Um, looking back, part of me wishes I didn't go full force into this YouTube thing. Uh, Money-wise, it's just, it's unstable. It's inconsistent. It's, it's why I have Patreon. Um, Patreon is just such a huge support for me because I, I would not be able to keep doing this if it weren't for Patreon at all. And that's just me being honest with you. It's been hard, it's been frustrating for me this last year has been really hard. And I haven't shared that with you because that stuff, you don't need to hear that. Like you're here to, to be inspired by, you know, the videos and the, the, the films and stuff, but it's been really hard for me mentally, the stress of the finances of continuing to put myself out there and realizing that there's a lot of risks involved with being a creative and you may not be compensated for it and that's okay. And it's me learning to be okay with that. This is where my heart's been at lately. I have been stuck, I have been frustrated, but I feel the clouds are leaving. I really do, like I feel, I feel this sense of courage and resilience erupting within me and I'm just excited to step fully into who I am and to continue to share myself honestly on this channel and to share topics that I'm honestly passionate about in the moment that I create them. Let's get on with today's video. Let's see, I think I think Alex may have just brought a package in, so let's check that out. <laughs> Thank you, that makes it easier for me. <gasps> Patina clothes have arrived. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with Miss Patina. I'm gonna make a whole video sharing my love of Miss Patina, but you guys know I love cats. You guys know I love vintage. And if you guys remember some of the dresses, a lot of the dresses and outfits that I wear on this channel are actually Miss Patina, including the cat shirt. See, um, this cat shirt you guys love. I get so many emails and DMs about where I bought this cat shirt all the time. Miss Patina. Miss Patina. But I'm so excited. I got some new pieces, some new dresses. Oh, look at that collar. That is so cute. I've got this cool, um, I got this cool like Jane Austen inspired dress. Oh my God, I'm so excited to wear this. So good. Oh my gosh. Okay, this dress, I have had my eye on this dress for like seven months now. This, I have been studying 
and like wanting to buy this dress for so long. I am so excited to wear this, but Miss Patina, you guys know I love Miss Patina. A lot of my things come from Miss Patina. Oh, also this necklace. <gasps> it's so pretty. This shirt is also Miss Patina, 1950s inspired. So, so cute. If you do want to check out their website, um, I'm not I'm not an affiliate. I'm This is not sponsored at all. I'm not getting paid to say this, but if you want to check out their website, I'll include a link down below. And I'll also give you guys a 17% off discount code. You can use my code Helena17. Include it right here. Um, if you want to get 17% off your purchase, if you ever do want to buy anything, not an affiliate code. I just asked them if they could please give me a discount code so that I can give it to you guys. So if you wanted to buy anything, you could save some money. All right, so let's get on with today's video. Oh my God. Oh my God, this is so cool. I love the feel, all oh, the textures. I love the way this feels. Oh, the texture is so good. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, it's so fresh. Does it have pockets? No. Another thing I really love to do to slow down in my life and just ground myself more is I watch a candle flame before I go to sleep at night. So I'll get a candlestick, I'll put it, you know, in a candle holder, I'll light it, and then I'll watch the flame for a few minutes before I go to sleep. And I allow my gaze to soften and to focus on the candle. And I just kind of watch it. And when I'm watching the candle flame, I find that find that I tap into my intuition more and I get connected with my subconscious and just it really relaxes me and puts me at ease before I go to sleep so I do this every night I've been doing this for a few years now it's such a small simple joy but it's something that really brings me a lot of peace and joy and honestly I look forward to it every night so I definitely recommend trying it you know get a candlestick get a little candle holder, put it next to your bed, light it, and at night, turn off all electricity, turn off any lights that you can in your room, except for one candlestick, and just gaze at it before going to bed. And make sure you blow it out before going to sleep, but oh, one of my favorite things to do lately. I've just been loving this little intentional practice every day. I also have been obsessed with silk pillowcases. Um, I've been actually wanting to get a silk pillowcase for a couple years now, ever since I first learned that silk pillowcases are really good for your face, you know, um, it's just, it's really good for your hair, being soft and gentle on your hair and your face, you know. Uh, I've been getting more wrinkles, obviously, as I'm aging, little wrinkles that are not really going away. They're very soft, but they're not disappearing like they used to when I was in my early 20s. And so I've been wanting to get silk pillowcases, and so I actually reached out to Lily Silk, and they sent me a pair of um, silk pillowcases, and I have just been loving them they're so soft easily so soft so silky going into bed every night is a joy I literally don't want to get out of bed because it's so silky and soft and smooth and gentle so gentle on my face and hair um, so I got these I got two champagne colored pillowcases for Alex and I and then I also ended up getting him um, an eye mask because um, I'm nocturnal I like to work and write late at night and he likes to go to sleep early and wake up early with the sun and so because of our schedules you know they're so different um, he always sleeps with an eye mask but the eye mask he had was like a, a really cheap travel one that they give you on air 
Airlines and it never was able to block out all the light in the room. When he sleeps, he can block out all of the light. And it's amazing because not only is it so soft and gentle on his eyes, but he, uh, he sleeps really well because it just completely blocks out all the light. It's amazing. Another thing that's been helping me slow down and find joy in is just really being present with the textures and the feeling of the objects in my space. For example, I've been really into getting materials that are made from hem or linen. Um, this little bag I got from a little boutique in Corsica. It was on sale and it was beginning of the year so I Got it like right after the Christmas sale and they had one of these in in the the basket and it was only like five euros but it's a hundred percent linen just connecting with nice textures making sure I have less polyester in my wardrobe and more linen and hem and just nicer materials being present can really be as simple as just connecting with the present moment connecting with the textures and the feelings of the things around you connecting with your senses um, such a small thing but every time I open my big bag of a purse and I have this which helps me organize the different contents in my bag just feeling this every day brings me so much joy it's the small things that matter you know when we're going through a period where we feel sad or stuck sometimes we have to rely on those simple things those small things to help perk our mood up even if only a fraction of an inch, you know? There's this great book called Power Versus Force and David Hawkins talks about the emotional scale. So when you are really sad, it's like reaching for the next level up. You don't wanna reach for happiness. You don't wanna reach for joy. If you can find a way to move from sadness to anger, that's amazing. Just moving one emotion higher on the emotional scale is something to be celebrated and something to be proud of. And so for me, as I've been feeling a little bit sad lately, focusing on the small things that I can do every day to just move my emotion one step higher on the emotional scale. I'm not reaching for joy, I'm not reaching for happiness, I'm simply reaching one step up the ladder. And that is enough and that is okay and that should be celebrated. One of my favorite books in the world, Callings, Finding and Following an Authentic Life by Greg Livov. I brought this book from the US when I moved to France four years ago. I brought it with me in my suitcase. It has been with me this entire time. I've annotated the crap out of it. I love this book so much. But one of my favorite quotes from this book is, the more time we spend locked in our studies with our slippers by the desk, our books arranged alphabetically on the shelves, the less time we have to frighten ourselves with the uncertainties of the road and the anxieties of the adventure. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful and so profound. I really recommend, if you like my videos, you probably will also align and like this book. So good. Such a beautiful book. Like the writing is superb. I just... Oh. So just to show you guys some other things I'm really loving lately is this daily page planner. Um, this is actually made locally in Minnesota and they have a small Etsy shop um, called The Daily Page. And you can get it at um, on Etsy or the Daily Page Planner.com, but I've just been obsessed with this. You guys know I am a huge advocate for habit tracking. I, you know, talk about it a lot in my YouTube videos, my blog posts, and also my slow living ebook. I just I find that for me, habits really help me stay accountable and thus feel more joyful and energized and excited to tackle whatever it is I want to tackle each day. And so I've got like this whole area at the beginning of the daily page. They have, you know, a space for your calendar so you can see your month at a glance. And then you've also got, you know, all your habits that you want to track as well as monthly goals, important reminders, monthly media, monthly motivation. I'm just, I'm obsessed with this. I, I've just been loving this. This has been so fun to just work with. Um, um, it is big though, like keep in mind, it's a big planner. You guys can see like this is my hand. I love how minimal and organized it is and how it has everything that I want, you know? It's it's not just tracking productivity, which 
it's just so lame. Like how boring it is, it is to just live your life based on tracking how productive you're being. But instead it's tracking that, but also taking care of yourself, like taking care of your health and your body and your wellness, doing things that make you feel excited and fun. And just, I just, I'm obsessed with this. So this is just one of the things I've been loving lately. Um, you can find it on Etsy. I'll include a link down below in the description, but I'm just obsessed. This has been one of my favorite things um, over the last, you know, several months. I've just been loving. Having nice things won't bring you joy in the long run. They won't bring you happiness overall, you know, your whole life. But sometimes having a lip color that you really like and seeing it on your face and putting the color on your lips, it can bring you joy in that moment. It can perk you up a little bit. Um, and so I actually really do believe that things can bring you happiness in the temporary moment. I've been loving Laura Mercier. I got two of their lip colors um, on Black Friday. This color is Bring It. Very neon pink, very fun. This color is Fab, and it's also Laura Mercier. So I've just been having fun with new colors. And I also was got really obsessed with um, the Red Album, Taylor Swift's Red Album, when it came out, when it came back out again, like in the fall. And so I did all this research online to try to find the exact <laughs> red lip color and like lipstick and lip liner that she used during that time. And so I found the Milani um, Sassy Cherry Lip Liner, which I have been using this in some of my videos. And then I've been filling it in with very gorgeous Hollywood glamour, old classic Hollywood starlet kind of red. Um, and so this is CoverGirl 305 Hot. I've just been loving these lip colors. Like it's so, so pretty. I've been loving a good red. So those are just some fun lip colors that have really been perking up my energy. Um, simply putting on a shade of lipstick that's really vibrant and fun and bold is such an easy, simple way for to instantly lift your mood up a little bit. All right, so those are just some simple, lovely things I've been loving lately. Um, I know I get a lot of emails about like, where are your clothes from? And Miss Patina, Miss Patina, that's where my clothes are from. I'm gonna make a whole video with all my pretty dresses when I go to Bordeaux in a few months. But I hope this was fun for you. This was really fun for me to make. Sometimes just getting in front of the camera and just sharing lighter things, lighter topics. Um, it's nice to, 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 to share those more simple things with you. Um, a lot of my videos are deeper and go into deeper subjects and I'm so happy I changed my name on this channel. It's like, feels like a weight that's been lifted from my shoulders. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I am sending you all my love and gratitude. Thank you for tuning in and I hope you have a magical day and I'll see you next time.